you were wrong. Krista, how will she be remembered? You know, Ted, I am completely convinced that I would not be an attorney but for her and women like her before her. Um, I still get asked when I walk into depositions and into courtrooms whether or not I'm a court reporter. Um, and it is not assumed that I am the trial lawyer. Um, I think that women everywhere, no matter what profession that they are in, um, she has helped us in our professions, whether it is an attorney or an executive or a, a social worker, um, she or a teacher or, or, or whomever, um, because of her and because of her voice and how powerful her voice is um, and was and will remain, I, I think um, it will be eternal. Um, our lives have forever been changed because she lived. Vinu, will she leave a mark different than other justices in history? I would absolutely say so. I mean, there's no one that has transcended the law the way that she has and, and touched ordinary people. Just to hear from uh, my colleague saying that she wouldn't have been a lawyer for, uh, but for her, I mean, it's inspiring. Very few lawyers have had the impact outside, uh, inside and outside the court. And to have her, you know, in, in pop culture the way that she is, uh, is, is a testament to her, not in any sort of negative way. Sometimes lawyers, you know, they get a little highbrow, they look down upon things that are in pop culture. But here you have a woman on the Supreme Court who transcended all that. I mean, Sam Adams, Samuel Adams had a line of beer after her last year. I mean, but when you go back and look at her career, when she was somebody who actually argued before the Supreme Court and won five or six cases that she had argued before the Supreme Court. So her legacy is both as a practitioner, as a, as a person who came from humble beginnings, to a person who is at the top of the legal profession and is, is not just known in America, but known world uh, around the world because of her ability to transcend uh, popular culture and get besides the books and the ivory towers. So yes, she'll absolutely be remembered. Titus Nichols, how does it change the balance of the court? And, and set aside that we're, it, it's a guarantee that uh, President Trump will nominate and uh, there'll be a, a Republican nominated um, new justice. Whether it's um, someone from the left or someone from the right, the, the, the bottom line is she is now out of the mix and she was such a force. And how, how does her vacating that seat of her death, how does it change the balance of the court and change the way the court works? There was no question that Justice Ginsburg was a part of the progressive wing. You could call it liberal wing, but the progressive wing. And without her voice there, that's one less powerful agent to push for progressive uh, rulings and decisions and just e careful considerations of the Constitution and what it does, it does not allow. And while it's but almost guaranteed that the Republican Senate will appoint, will nominate and confirm a conservative justice. The lack of Justice Ginsburg's voice is going to be felt in subsequent decisions. Krista, the fact that she wouldn't be there to, let's say somebody else, uh, had, there was another open seat and she was still there. Her voice was so unique and so powerful and, and, and steeped in, in the law. Um, it's a big loss, is it not? Just not either side, but for our country to have someone uh, of of that stature on the court. You know, I, I keep hearing a lot of your wonderful male guests tonight and in earlier hours this evening comment upon how she is a recent pop culture figure. I met her 20 years ago, and I was a geeky recent law school graduate, and um, who knew everything about her. And I think that women everywhere, um, whether or not they know it, not only that, um, have, have that sense of, of understanding what she means to our lives, our livelihoods, and our professions, our personal lives, our bodies, our choices. There will not ever be a voice like hers again. Um, I worry for my daughter's future. I worry for all of my girlfriend's daughter's futures. Um, because her voice was some, 
someone's voice that could not be um, questioned. She, she had such great respect from, uh, you know, Justice Anton Scalia when he was alive. He didn't agree with her on a lot of things, on most things, really, when it came to the practice of law. But he had deep respect for her opinions and her beliefs. And so I think that we're never going to get to um, have this voice again um, with this sort of power because of the trailblazing she did, by the way. If it wasn't for um, her um, work with the ACLU, I don't know um, that she would be as powerful of a figure as she is now. Um, I would say now that our vote is more important than ever. Um, and and I, I, I do worry for my daughter's future. Krista, you uh, talked about uh, being uh, a little uh, geeky, just finished law school. That photo we saw, was that that was you with yeah. um, with Justice Ginsburg. Um, yeah. Boy, you sure were. Uh, you look like you're next to a <laughs> rock star with your glasses. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's priceless. I love that. <laughs> My glasses are a little bit more fashionable now, but um, <laughs> I was... I look like it's like a well, uh, you know those Forrest Gump photos from the movie. <laughs> it looks like she's not really there posing with me, but um, that th it, it was at my law school. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Great story. All right, we're going to take a break, um, and when we come back, we'll have more of the life of Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Stay with us. You're watching Court TV, your front row seat 